somebody posted something, I think it was on Facebook, and not that it wasn't without uh, its merit. It was kind of uh, cold, but at the same time, I understood their point. And the person said, what if Trayvon's father didn't live in a white neighborhood? Um, and it's something to be said about that. Of course, that does not justify the assassination of our brother. But I did understand the poster's point. Basically, he was saying, you know, that his father lived out here with these white people in his white neighborhood, forsaken the inner city black community in a place where he knew his son would not be safe. Now, of course, he knew, you know, he didn't think, you know, at all that his son would end up being a victim of violence by a neighborhood watchman. None of us would even think that. But the fact that we are trying so much to integrate into the white social structure that we're forgetting that we're not wanted and that our children are going to be the casualties of our love for white people. I mean, what if he didn't live out there? Now, of course, the same thing could have happened in a black neighborhood. But let's think about that. What's the chances of a white man who's not a cop pursuing a black boy on a black block? I think we can agree that that's not likely to happen by someone who's not a police officer. It's likely to happen by a police officer. But had that block, had that been a black neighborhood, that white man would have never pursued Trayvon because he would have been scared shitless about what would have happened if black folks saw him pursuing this black boy so again we do have to talk about how we create the context where these types of things happen to us where we live where we send our children to go to school at where we choose to work i mean we have to look at this a lot of times we are actually putting ourselves you know right in front of the barrel of the gun by trying to integrate with white people we have to remember racism and its final analysis is based on white folks' desire to protect their gene pool. They do not want to mix with anyone, especially black people. And because black people are excessively concerned with living with white people, working with white people, marrying white people, and being a part of the American social order, white folk are always coming up with new strategies to do what? Keep us away from them. New strategies to keep us at bay. New strategies to deplete our numbers. Not saying that racism is going to stop if we backed away. But in the short term, okay, in the short term, it would at least give us a little bit of pause. Too much of the violence coming from white folk directed at black folk is taking place uh, uh, in contexts that are dominated by white people when we don't need to be around them. What if his father didn't live in a white neighborhood? Would that have happened? What was he out there for? Did he need to move out there? What was the purpose of that? So again, I'm not certain of the total demographic graphics of the neighborhood, nor would I use that to justify the assassination of our brother. But I am saying that we have to look at our integrationist behavior. We have to look at our integrationist behavior and how it is hurting us. For example, if I was to draw a parallel with the school system, I work in the school. And again, got a lot of boys uh, being put in special ed and put on medicine. Uh, it happens in the public schools, but it really happens in the private schools. And I'm telling, you know, black parents, why did you put your son in this all-white school? A black boy has no business in an all-white school. You're the reason he's being referred for ADHD. You're the reason he's diagnosed as mild mentally retarded. Why are you trying to integrate a black boy into a white school? They don't want us. But because black people are so in love with white people, we fail to recognize their racism because we want to be accepted. Low racial self-esteem. We have to deal with our assimilationist, integrationist fantasies because those integrationist fantasies are putting our children in harm's way.